easiest mashed potatoes ever. So today we're doing garlic mashed potatoes. It's gonna be the fluffiest mashed potatoes you've ever made and we're doing it in the sous vide. Yes, and mashed potato is not something that we usually make because... No, because of this. But you do need it to have that creamy, delicious texture and yeah. if you do want to have it, then you better make it right. There are some days you just forget about any diets you have and you just go at it. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to Kind of Cooking where we do sous vide recipes and experiments. Get started. So it's pretty simple. We're gonna have our potatoes. We're gonna slice them into one centimeter pieces or half an inch for you Americans. I like putting them back into water because it really helps to keep the color and it doesn't turn brown. We're using russet potatoes today. Those are the best variety for mashed potatoes. Next is the easy part. We're gonna put it into the bag. Then you just dump it in. Oh, yeah. And all we need to do is dump the rest of the ingredients in. We have one and a half sticks of butter. You know, try and spread it out just a little bit. We have some nicely roasted cloves of garlic. I like roasting my garlic, it makes it a little sweeter and less pungent, and especially if you're doing it in the sous vide, it really helps. There's a little bit of leftover oil, I'm just gonna put it all in. A little bit of salt, so this one is more to taste. Yep, and remember you can always add salt afterwards, so you don't wanna over salt at this stage. And we have some white pepper because Kevin likes his mashed potatoes completely, completely white. white. And then some whole milk. Usually when you make mashed potato, you boil the potatoes in the water, right? Mm -hmm. But doing it this way, all these flavors, the milk, the butter, salt, pepper, garlic, is all infused inside the potatoes during the cooking process. Yep. So you don't have any water in there at all. So the taste of this should be even more rich and even more buttery. The wonderful thing about doing sous vide mashed potatoes is that you can do other vegetables at the same time, especially root vegetables like beets, carrots, parsnips, butternut squash, butternut squash works. Um, and so those are all done at the same temperature. And it's great for large family meals and yeah. you can prepare them all in advance. You don't need to wash the stove. When time is done, pull it out, put it on a plate, it. that's it. The mashed potatoes are done, mm -hmm. came out of the sous vide. You can see that they're nice here and they're already pretty soft. You can just squeeze it and it'll break. I'm going to strain out the liquid first. The reason for this is so you can adjust the consistency later on. And you just spoon it in. Mm, it smells smells really good, good, eh? Should we switch? No, you're strong. <clears throat> We're using the ricer, and the ricer makes it much fluffier. You can also just do it in the bag. You can squeeze it in the bag, and that's more home style. You get a little more lumpy. You can use and then the regular last, masher. The regular can... masher is also like more home style. As you can see, this is pretty dry right now. So what we do is we add in back in some of our, our liquid. So this is our milk and butter. And you just fold it back in. And I think we can actually put in the rest of it. I guess we didn't actually have to... Strain it? Yeah. It's easier so it's not so wet. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you have to deal with all the liquid when you're squeezing it. Stir it all together until you get a nice consistency. You don't need to put all the liquid. You can add more liquid if it's still too dry. You add more milk or cream, whatever you like. You make sure that you do this while it's hot. Otherwise yes. Otherwise, it's gonna be yeah. Really make difficult sure you do it when it's hot. Mashed potatoes done, beautifully plated. We added chives. Taste test. Yep. Mm. 
For me, this is the right consistency. It's not totally smooth, but it has no texture, but mostly it's very smooth. I just like how all the flavors are infused in it so well. Yeah. Because yeah. I just find that sometimes when you mix the flavor in by hand, there might be like lumps of salt here, mm -hmm. lumps of pepper there, but this one, it's just, the entire bite is so rich. Yeah. There's, every flavor is inside, is infused. Sous vide, mashed potatoes. Never do it another way. If you're new to this channel, we're kind of cooking and we help you guys cook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.